This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Do this. Play the game at least once. Cool. And we've already played this unless they've changed a lot. Hit play. Okay. I want to get score. Lives is three. Let's get the lime. I have a score of one. Lives is still three. Lime. Score of two. Lives is still three. Oop. Score of three. Lives is three. Let's go ahead and get the... Blech. Oh, no. I lost a life because I got the lime. Lost a life because I got the lime. Lost a life because I got the lime. All right. Play the game at least once. Discuss with your partner what's changed since the last time and how it works. Oh, well, I didn't get a high enough score. Look at this. If score plus score is equal to one. Oh, no, that adds to the score. If score is greater than 10, it looks like the lime grows or the lemon grows if score is greater than 10. If score is greater than five. Oh. No, I think it gets smaller. It does. So. If we have a really high score, the lemon is going to be smaller and harder to get. Let's run it again. I need to go slower. Okay, I have three score, four score, five score. So, no, and I lost. I have a score of four, five. Now notice that the lime is smaller. So once you get a score higher than five, it gets smaller and then smaller again once you get it higher than 10. Okay. And then the rest of it's the same. Does the lemon change? Nope. I mean, the, the, the lemon does change, not the lime. Draw a road chart for the if else. Find the if else statement that was added. Yep. Here it is. And so what, what is occurring here? Modify the program so that the lemon becomes even smaller when the user has more than 15 points. See that? Yep. Good below. All right. So what happens here? If score is greater than 10, well, then we get this, right? So if they have more than 10 points, this happens. And in an if else statement, nothing else happens. It skips everything else. This was true. It does. It runs the code in here and zoop, keeps going, which is good because we wouldn't want to be like, oh, you have a really high score. Let's make this more difficult. But then it ends up making it huge with a width and height of 140 anyways. Nope. If this is true, it runs this code, skips the rest of the if statement and keeps going. Now, say this is false. Nope, the player has a score of six. Okay, this is false. Well, then the computer will go to this line. Is Else if, is score greater than five? Well, if I have a score of six, then yeah, that would be true. And the computer returns and says, true, awesome. Then we would run the code in here and we'd set the width and height to one fit, to 100 and we'd skip the rest because this was true. So our score was six, for instance, this, up, oh, nope, that's false, so we don't run that code. Oh, yep, six is greater than five. We run that code in here, and then we skip. Now, let's say we have a score of two, right? Well, two, two isn't greater than 10, so we're not going to run that code. We skip it. The computer says, okay, well, else if is score is score greater than five, is two greater than five? Nope, false. So we skip that code too, and then we'll automatically run the else. So if it is less than five, then it's less than 10. Else will always run else will always happen if these two don't happen else is the default they want us to add something though for 15. now what's tricky about this is if i add it down here i'm going to click plus here and i'll say i'm going to move my else statement down because i want this if what i'm doing is wrong definitely wrong and the reason for that is here i'll show you score is great man not all caps capitalization matters with variables score is greater than 15. And so what do I want to do? I, they said set the width to what? Oh, it's just smaller. Okay, that's easy enough. Let's grab set property. Actually, I'm just going to use control C and control V because you can see it's set property. So I'm copying and then pasting that code because I'm going to be lazy about it. And I'm going to say, I don't know, 40. Okay, so really small. This will never work. This will never run. Say we have a score of 14. Okay, so my if statement runs. If score is greater than 10, well, 14 is greater than 10. So the computer will say yes, and it runs this code here, 60, 60. Then it's done with the if statement. We already had it true. It is done. It goes to the bottom and keeps running code. It never sees this code beneath it. Well, 14 was a bad example because 14 is not larger. If code was 20, though, okay, well, it hits this. 20 is greater than 10. It runs this code, skips everything else, and goes beneath it. We need the highest number at the top. Otherwise, this won't work. To shuffle these around for a bit, I'm going to actually go ahead and do one more plus because I need to move this down one, this down one, this up one. Okay. And now for code, let's see. 
that up there. This was the smallest one, so that must go with the 15. This was the next smallest, that goes here. And this was the second to the largest there. And then we want to get rid of, I'm going to hit negative. Oop, just kidding, I'm going to hit plus. Drag both of these down. <laughs> there we are. And now we need to get rid of this else if. So apparently, uh, easiest way to do this is text. So I just need to make sure to delete the whole portion of it. And there we are. Let's give this a shot. Although, this means I have to get to 15. Yikes. Yeah. Look at these skills. Oh, it's teeny tiny teeny. <laughs> Uh-oh, now I lost. <laughs> awesome. Let's keep going. 